Well, it's Valentine's Day, and the fact that the love drug might be all you need to cure what ails you is a weird sciencey fact that boggles my mind. Wait, is that ecstasy? That's that's not what I meant. I just mean, you know, being in love. Now, it's no secret that being in love has a host of happy side effects, not the least of which being in love releases all of those happy hormones like serotonin and oxytocin. In fact, being in love is just like being on cocaine, apparently. I don't know. I've never been on cocaine, but I can say a few divorcees would probably tell you that it's similar in the fact that you gotta be high to do it. And high you are when you're on it, but that comes with a host of benefits. It lowers stress levels and stress hormones in your body. You know, those come back when you get married, but that's besides the point. Actually, that's a joke. Studies have shown that if you find the right partner and build the right relationship, that stress and those stress hormones are lower for life. And that's a life you'll be living for longer because studies have also shown that people in loving, committed relationships live around five years longer than single people. And those life lengthening benefits are more pronounced in men than in women, likely because women are better at doing friendship, but but that's, that's not what the point of this video is. Anyway, people in love also have lower levels of cortisol and less chronic inflammation, which is one of the things that is most linked to chronic diseases. It improves heart health, helps lower anxiety and depression, and you get better sleep, even despite the snoring. But I don't know if any of that is really mind-boggling, right? Obviously, we know all the hormones that make us happy and make us fall in love, so we make more people. And we know that the comfort and security that comes with a loving relationship reduces stress, and people who are less stressed are healthier, so they sleep better, and they have better heart health and less depression and anxiety, which is a good thing. Those are all things we need in today's world clearly. But the thing that I did find actually mind-boggling about falling in love is that it boosts your immune system. At least for women. I, I couldn't find any of the studies that were done on men. They were all, all done on women. So I'm not sure if us dudes get the same flu-fighting effects as, as the girls do, but the girls get a better immune system when they fall in love. And this pretty much happens immediately. There was a couple long-term studies done with a few different groups of women that showed before they fell in love and after they fell in love and compared them to women who didn't fall in love in that time period. And for the girls who fell in love during this study, you know, the ones who got in a new relationship, started a new romance, their immune systems went into overdrive in a very similar way to what happens when your immune system is fighting off a virus. Now, that is not a side effect of less stress, but it does make you healthier. So ladies, if you do plan on falling in love, I'd try to do it around flu season. But why exactly does falling in love make your immune system go into overdrive? And the answer is, we don't know. We don't know the exact mechanics as to how it happens or why it happens, but we do have some pretty good theories as to why we might have evolved to have an increased immune response when we fall in love. And the main thought is because getting down and dirty is, well, dirty. Now, obviously, when you start interacting with somebody you're attracted to, the ultimate physiological goal is to score. That, that, that analogy actually worked out. But when you do finally score, you never know what you're gonna get. It could be an orgasm, could be COVID, who knows? So an increased immune response and preparation for that can provide you with a little extra protection. Furthermore, women's immune systems go into overdrive when they get pregnant. You know, there's a baby on board you gotta protect. And you know, since one leads to two leads to three, Hey, that, anal that, that, that analogy works too. I'm on a roll today. A woman's body could simply be trying to prepare for that eventuality as well. But the science of love still remains somewhat elusive. And while we know the ingredients, we're not entirely sure how the cake is baked. So while we still have a lot of learning to do about love, and one thing we know for sure is that a lot of those ingredients in love are good for you. And that's a good thing because with the healthcare system in America, we need all the help we can get. And the fact that if you're lucky enough to have lasting love, you can let you live a longer, livelier life. Well, that is pretty mind-boggling. Happy Valentine's Day, guys.